Hello, I'm going to show you how you can create a text change delayed event. And you would want to create an event like this so that your event inevitably fires when the user um, changes the text in, in a text box. But you don't want it to fire as the user is changing the text, just all the time and very often because you may be updating some other control outside of the text box and it might be a bit resource intensive but you still want it to be responsive to what the user is doing and typing and I saw this being used in the uh, fast colored text box and you can register to this uh, to these delayed events to do uh, heavy uh, syntax highlighting like your own custom syntax highlighting for the box and it's pretty cool so I'm gonna make a video on it they're, they're useful uh, events to create. So I'm going to create a new project and then I'm going to create a text box control. So I'm add a, going to add a class, call it text box 2. Okay, it's going to extend text box And we're going to add our timer in there. It's going to be a system windows forms timer. And we're going to define our hook for our event. So public event, event handler. And we're going to call it text changed delayed and we need to define our constructor so we can set our initial interval property for our timer. We're going to set it to default at one second. Now let's define our event itself, which can be protected virtual, so we can override it. on text changed event or delayed. We're not going to pass in any arguments. All we need to do is uh, pass in the sender to the, uh, the code that's hooking to this event and that's all we really need to do. The sender is usually the control itself. So we're going to see if we have hooks. Text change delayed is not equal to null. And if we have any hooks, then we will raise the event. We're going to pass in the sender and empty event args. Okay, so now let's override the current text changed event. And what we're going to do in this event is we're simply going to um, stop the timer and then start it again. We need to st stop the timer because it may already be uh, running and we need to reset the timer to uh, zero. It's internal ticks. We, we, we basically just need to reset it using the uh, stop method. If we just, I don't think we can do that using just start and then we need to start it again of course. and. Uh, Basically, that'll give us our delayed effect. Okay, now we need to define a tick event for the timer. So I'm, I'm going to go in the constructor and work on the tick event. I'm going to copy this tick event name. I'm trying really hard not to look at my keyboard when I type. I, it makes me type really slow and it's a really bad habit. Okay, so in the timer tick event, we simply want to stop the timer and raise the event on text change delayed. And we need to expose the interval property of the timer so users can uh, adjust the delayed time outside of the code. We're going to call it text changed delayed interval
Okay, so our event seems to be done. Let's go to the Form 1 Designer and drag our control onto the form. And let's go to the events, find our text, our text changed delayed event, double click it, create a handler for it. And I'm simply going to append to the text property of the form to display when the handler is fired or the event is fired. Very good. So let's take a look at the um, control again. And you'll note that the interval is one second. So I'm going to start typing. After I stop typing, I've got about a second before the event is raised. One, one, and we can change this to uh, two from the form one if we want to. So go in the constructor, access text box 21, dot delayed, text change delayed interval, set that to 3000. So let's 3,000. One, two, three. It's um, pretty nifty. You can set this to 500. So maybe a half a second interval will be good. So it's basically just waiting for the average uh, typer with the average typing speed to finish typing. And then it's going to raise the event. So I could be like, hello, this is Brian. And of course, I'm not a very good typer. So when I start typing out my name, there's a little bit of a pause and it uh, it raises. But if I was like a super speedy typer, then I could be like, this is a nice story. And uh, it will actually raise when I'm finished typing the entire sentence. So basically using the delayed text changed event, you can wait for the user to stop typing at, to a certain extent before you raise the event. So you can effectively up, update certain controls and whatnot outside of the text change or sorry, the text box um, without updating them too often. So you would want to do this if you're doing something pretty intense like spell checking or something. So I'm probably not going to have a lot of videos for another couple days just because I'm spending a lot of my time learning TCBIP um, socket programming and when I'm when I've learned a lot of it I'm just going to start making beginner videos and then working my way up to more complex things um, I, I find it pretty f uh, fun in relation to the other stuff that I've been doing so see you then